Well, hello everyone, it's Mila here. Today I want to talk about island ordinances really quickly because if you are like me and you have been a little bit like, what do these mean exactly? I hope that today's video sheds some light to this matter. So obviously with the 2.0 update, we got four island ordinances. Let's go into more detail what exactly do these four ordinances mean when you activate them in your game? So first things first, you can only have one ordinance at a time enabled on your island. So unfortunately, you cannot have two at a time. The first ordinance I want to talk about is the beautiful island ordinance. This basically means that you will no longer get cockroaches in your house. While you're fishing, you will not get trash. Like, you will no longer be able to fish trash from the waters. <laughs> and weeds will grow less often on your island. And your villagers will be watering your flowers more often. I also saw in an article that while you're diving, seaweed will no longer appear. So that sounds good to me. <laughs> So beautiful island ordinance seems to be the ordinance for people who maybe don't log into their game that often. So the second ordinance I want to talk about is the early bird, uh, early bird, early bird ordinance, and this is pretty obvious. It just means that your villagers will wake up earlier, but also it means that your shops will open one hour earlier. So if you are more of a morning person and if you only have time to play in the morning this might be the ordinance for you the shops by the way will close at the same time so this will not affect the closing hours only the shops opening hours night owl ordinance is the opposite so obviously your residents will go to bed a bit later but your shops will be open for one hour more but the Opening time is the same as the usual time. And last but not least, we have the Bell Boom Ordinance. And this means that you get more money when you're selling items, but it also means that prices go up a little bit. So personally, I'm not sure how useful this one will be. I guess if you're not shopping that often, this might be the ordinance for you. And that pretty much wraps up this quick guide on the ordinances. I hope you guys liked it. I hope this helps you decide which ordinance you might want to activate on your own island. For me, it might be the night owl one because I usually tend to play quite late in the evening. Anyways, comment down below which ordinance you might already have on your island or what will you be activating on yours. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more Animal Crossing content and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!